Hey there kisses, I hope you're doing well. So today, a very simple tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to insert rates and API with your mobile app using Ionic Framework. And if you are not very familiar with APIs so and you want to read more about it, please do so. Read on uh, articles on Ionic Fire. I have placed a link down below in the description box. And that, let's not waste any more time and start coding. <laughs> So first thing first, we are going to search for the APIs that have been used. So go on your browser, search news API, and you will show you different types of uh, APIs you can get. Um, you can use any source, make sure it's secured. I'm going to use Google News uh, for this tutorial. So uh, the thing you have to do is get your unique API key. And to get that, you have to register through the process. And you're gonna get registered there and then um, go through this um, very short process entering the name and uh, also reading the terms and check boxes there and you are done you will get your own email and um, with the key that you're gonna use for your project as soon as we are done we're gonna copy that key and then we're going to move to our projects uh, please note that I've already uh, started the project and it's running on the server and now we have to just go through the project files um, we're gonna look for the environment file uh, that is where we are going to have that api key in. now i uh, have a variable underneath your environment file called api key and then you're gonna put in that api key that has been sent to you and then we're going to have another variable called API URL and we're going to have that uh, from our um, API um, web website. So we're going to take this part there and copy it, go through your app again and just paste it there. And then there you have it. You are done with your environment file. So now guys, we're gonna create a service class uh, that we're gonna be using to request our data on uh, the server. So we're gonna run this um, I mean, I make generate service and we're gonna name our service um, news fit. So after we're done with this, um, Ionic will just generate um, the service for us. We're going to go through the service class day after it's been generated. Uh, there we go. Okay, first thing first, we need that two variables we've declared underneath the environment class. So to do that, we need to import the environment class and um, access the stuff there. So we're going to go here import uh, <clears throat> sorry um environment from and the next thing we're going to import is an http client um from angular uh we basically yeah. need this to 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 use it for the request data from the server. So uh, the HTTP clients will just enable us to do that. Okay, uh, something is wrong there. Is it HTTP clients? No, it's not. It's the L there that I am missing. And there we go. Then we're good to go. So the next thing we are going to access that variables we've declared on the other side, uh, which was the API key and the API uh, URL. So I'm going to put it in there. Hope you guys are still keeping the focus on 100. 
All right, let's, uh, the last one is the ABNT. All right. As soon as we are done um, with this, we then gonna go ahead and inject our HTTP client down to, down there rather. Um, let me quickly just do that. Oh, easy stuff. Now we are going to have a method called get um, moves, um, which gonna pass in URL um, from the front. So. We will say return this dot http dot get. We're gonna use a dot get method because we want the data to be retrieved from the server. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna pass in the parameter um the API URL and as well as the parameter URL from our um, parameter there. Um, then we will add that to uh, our key, All right? So we will say that and API key equal to and then we co-continue that with our API key variable there. There you go. Right and now that's that's about it. All right. When that is done we're gonna save this and move on to our home TS page. Uh, first and first, we're going to import our service uh, class there. And then um, we're going to inject it there in our constructor. Um, now we're gonna have a method called load news. Um, I'm gonna use it to retrieve stuff from our service. Uh, we need an um, a variable. We're gonna call it articles that will hold our data from the server. Okay. Now let's go ahead and help get the data from the server. So we're going to call the um, the new service and get news. So we're going to go back to our documentation, uh, top news. Um, so we're going to copy this parameter down uh, down there, but copy. I'm going to paste it there as our URL. Um, and then we're going to subscribe to get the response. So we're going to take the response and populate it into our array that we've declared articles. So now we'd want to see how it looks before we work with it. So we're going to um, log articles and compile and see how it looks. Okay, there's something wrong. I forgot to call the load news. I thought on our constructor it should be working now. Um, right now it works fine. Okay, so now that we have our data there, we will go ahead and go to our HTML and display the news. Uh, but first, um, we need a clear array of articles. And if you can uh, just check on our response there, it has an extra stuff header there on top. And we will just take that out. 
by doing this and have articles there so we could get just a JSON uh, formatted array and response like that. All right, um, so cool. All right, now let's go to our ASMO and have our image field displayed nicely there. We're going to use an iron card to display. Okay, so we would use an F4 or an NG4 statement to display um, our news. Article of articles. Okay. Then we have articles that are available. And then we will then move on to let's see shall we? Okay. So we're gonna move on and have an ion card, um no an image rather. So if you can look inside one of this uh data there we have a URL image thing there that has an image. Um so we're gonna use that display the image of the news there in our card and we will use um, article uh, dot url to image let's save and see how it looks like now perfect all right, so um, let's have let's have some title of, of the news. So we use um, an iron headers, an iron card header, rather. So let's see what do we have with title Um, at this point, things are practically obvious um, and simple. So we're just going to add um, a publish date there. Let's see how it looks now. Um, all right. Um, let's just have a pipeline to have our data um, perfectly, perfectly formatted. What do we have? Okay. Um, the last part will be having a small description of the news details on our card. And this we're gonna put it on an iron card content. Let's see, column for description, no content. Let's go for description here. Let's 
Doc description. I'll let's save and compile and have our funny look. Not so bad. Look at that, guys. Wasn't well, really hard now, was it? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. This looks good for me. Let's change that blank day. Save and compile. Awesome stuff. <laughs>